Hi, so yeah, I want to share with you all today that the enemy will definitely use your children against you. Um, he will use them as weapons against you if you don't get yourself together. If you don't get them deliverance, if you don't get them right, if you don't get right with God, the enemy will use your children um, as weapons against you, okay? Um, that's the, that was his plan to do for me, for, with my children. He was going to use them as weapons if I hadn't uh, gotten myself together. Um, because the enemy, he didn't want me to have children, but he did want me to have children at the same time because either way, he could have used the situation. See, the enemy know how to use certain situations um, against people. And so when I was under the spell, um, he wanted me to get pregnant so that I could give my babies for a sacrifice. That's what he wanted me to do. That's what the original plan was. Um, he figured that, okay, since she's in such a horrible state, surely she's not going to want to have these babies or this, this baby, right? So I chose to, to keep my children, all three of them, you know, and so, um, since I kept my children, he was like, well, okay, plan B. Plan B, once they get to a certain age, or I can, um, I can use them against her. And luckily, I didn't get a chance to experience a lot of that. I didn't get a chance to experience him actually using my children against me. But what I did experience is, is that constant worrying about your children when they're, they're okay, honestly. I had a constant worry, like my soul wasn't at rest. I just, I was always worrying about my children. I'm, and I couldn't understand why I kept worrying about them all the time. It was just so, it was excruciating sometimes. It was like, it was a certain pain, you know, that would be in my spirit. So that's, that was one weapon because we're not supposed to be that doggone worried about anything. And um, I was worried about all three of them, you know, when they, whenever they was born in a certain way except for the last one as much because i had already met i had met miss williams so i wasn't too worried about him like that like i was my other two but the enemy would use that situation as a means to um probably get the children to misbehave a lot get them to be very disruptive probably get them to where they won't even mind you you know, like I said, I didn't experience a whole, I didn't experience that a lot because I was mostly I was mostly moving around, mostly gone, and um sometimes I couldn't even be around my children like that because of the state of mind I, I was in. So I'm very blessed to have had um, people to watch after my children while I was like that, y'all, and in a lot of cases. But he would have used them to um, possibly get me arrested. Like the in, the enemy will use your children to get you arrested, possibly get them to get when they get to a certain age, they'll probably be calling the police on you for nothing. You know, just weird stuff. He would use them to um just bring all types of, of distractions, all types of worry. You know, not the other worry, but the worry that um the worry of like they getting in trouble all the time and stuff like that. He would use them as weapons to be just disrupting my life like in a in a in a great way but luckily um by the time i got to a certain point my children was a certain age you know they weren't even really old enough to do some of that stuff that the enemy was planning on getting them to do and it just would have been it'll been mostly because of the energy it have been that stuff would have been rubbing off on my children what was on me would have been just rubbing off on my children yeah the enemy would have used my children as bait he, he would have probably get did something to get them to to do something weird to where cps would be involved you know something crazy like that um these are just examples that i'm giving you all it have been something it have been something you know where they would have probably been tearing the house up but a lot of people think just just because you got children that you just walking around like you pulling your hair out or something no when you getting right when you get right and you if you got decent children um, see me, he, the devil couldn't have used me against my mom and dad because I was, I was just a sweet young lady, but it could have definitely been something that would have been used eventually against my parents. But I was, I was just really sweet because, you know, just because of me or whatever my mind said. And then I was raised by some, by a couple of sweet grandparents and, you know, I was actually, like I said, I was raised pretty good. So, um, everybody think a lot of well not everybody but a lot, a lot of people think that a lot of people think that just because 
you have children that you just you going through it or something and that ain't always the case yeah a person can go through it or whatever but some stuff just have to be broken off that bloodline um where there is peace in the children there's peace in the home there's peace within the family the peace within the bloodline you want peace to run through your bloodline that's what you want and so god provides that peace and that stability it's even i believe if you are um in a one-parent household like god can fix all of that god will fix and renew all of that stuff for you but i mean it's just it's just the means of us putting in the work to get this stuff removed getting it done that way we can continue to spread the good stuff throughout the bloodline the good things that god has for us throughout our bloodlines but yes and um if i would have got abortions that would have been a that would have been a means to have me i know that that would have pulled me deeper into what i was already in that stuff would have tormented me and tormented me and tormented me if i would have the torment would have been worse if i would have um gotten rid of my children it would have been much i know it would have been much worse like i could feel it and um by me going ahead and having my babies that kind of shook up the enemy too but he still had a plan b he still had another plan um for that but luckily i got rid of a lot of that stuff before some a lot of it a lot of it could come to pass but my children they are pretty behaved or whatever um it's some things that they need to work on for sure they're human they're human like i don't have no really big issues with them at all it's not no no talking back it ain't no disrespect it ain't no none of that you know my children they they have their little things just like anybody just like probably i do you know i'm not perfect but it's not nowhere near what the enemy was planning on doing and what he was gonna do with my children versus versus how things are now um he would have destroyed that but by that being on me it would have destroyed my children's lives too um so they wouldn't have not only would they have been weapons but a lot of their lives would have been hindered in some of the worst ways all because of what was going on with me you know all because of what was going on with me so i had to break that stuff off and when you think about the fact that god gave me children in the midst of all of that it was for a reason all of it was for a reason you know so a lot of it was meant to come through me so that i could god knew i was gonna break it all even if i wasn't absolutely sure so god, do we gotta trust god's plan and make sure we're getting our children deliverance and make sure they um they're, they stay on the right path as much as possible because once they get grown you can't say they can't say we didn't tell them or we didn't um try to show them the right way to go and things like that they can't say we never told them you know because i've definitely told all of mine and um i'm gonna keep telling them so that they since they're getting older as they grow up um they can get a refresher in their head about which way is the right way instead of going the way that leads to destruction you know but the enemy the enemy do think about okay well what can i do in this generation here i don't took down the generation some of this stuff that's in our bloodlines have been there for hundreds of thousands of years or however long it's been there for a long time for a very 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 long time and so sometimes the enemy, the enemy get comfortable he like i've been taking down every family member in this bloodline ever since uh bc ad so once i get to got to this person hold on they could possibly break this stuff and once they see that you breaking it oh my goodness you know they're gonna come for you they're gonna come for you they're gonna come for you because they're gonna be mad they're gonna be highly upset how dare you break this off i've been working on this for decades so yeah i been, I was one the enemy like man i was gonna use your children against you you done broke it off and um yeah that's how it be y'all i just want to kind of you know say that i know i had to put a whole bunch of edits up in here because i got dis disrupted like twice the video ain't even even ain't even 10 minutes long and i got disrupted twice while i was trying to put this out so yeah all right y'all love y'all talk to y'all later bye